Hey everyone, welcome to the Cooknick. This is Angel Girl and today we're gonna see where this is going. Stay tuned and we'll get started. Alright, so we're gonna get started and uh, I've already defrosted some uh, tilapia fish and I have four um, pieces here and um, we're gonna put some ranch. Uh, give me a minute. Okay, there we go. And we're just gonna put on an empty little bowl, we're gonna put some, a little bit of ranch, eh, about fourth cup in there. And then we don't want the fish to just taste like ranch. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of uh, garlic salt. As you can, as you can guys already tell, we love using garlic salt for like pretty much everything. So, garlic salt is a must, at least in our family. And I also got some uh, Parmesan cheese. It really does not really matter on what type of Parmesan cheese you use, as long as um, it's Parmesan cheese. So, for that, I'm going to put a little bit, about two tablespoons in there. And then, we have a little bit more creaminess here. We're gonna put some water in there. It's not a lot, but like half a cup. And then we're gonna mix it all in together. I'll put a little bit extra of ranch just so that it gets a little creamier. It's not, it's not much. And then this is when you start putting in, it's gonna look a little bit like this. Like that. Okay, just kind of mix it in. And then you start putting in the fish. Um, okay, putting them. I love using tilapia fish because, uh, as you can see, it's individually wrapped, um, and so it's easier to to just pick how many you need and not have them all stick together or anything. And they already they already come frozen, so they don't they won't go bad on you. I love using frozen stuff. I don't know if you guys can tell, but yeah. All right, here we go on this side here, and as uh, as you guys can tell with the uh, with the title of the video, we're making fish parmesan. What is fish parmesan? Wait and see. So, okay, so then we just kind of let it sit there. Get all the goodnesses. And I promise it's not gonna taste like ranch. If you're not a big fan of ranch, I promise you it's not gonna taste like ranch. It's just gonna be all goodnesses. And basically the only reason that we're using the ranch is just um, a sticking content, a sticking, um, just so that we can uh, put the, um, we can put some uh, breadcrumbs on there. That, that's it. That's the only reason that we're, we're using the ranch and so that we don't have to use um, any, any, any other heavier, um, heavy um, content, um, uh, but anyway, it's just uh, we're gonna use some breadcrumbs, and I'm using uh, Italian uh, Italian breadcrumbs uh, for this recipe. It's just it's just so that it could be um, it could have more flavor. It, it'll have more uh, more taste to it. And again, it won't it won't taste like um, ranch. So once 
they're already covered with all the seasonings and everything sometimes i also like to add a little bit of like uh, italian seasonings on the ranch you can add that too that one's also if that's only if you wanna if you want to do that most of the flavors are already on the breadcrumbs so you don't really have to worry too much about uh seasonings um but i like to add the the parmesan cheese it's just as an add-on as uh, again since the ranch is already watered down uh, we wanted to to have more uh, a little bit of salt into it so that's why it's the Parmesan cheese um, and as you can see just shaking it a little bit it it gets the job done it gets it covered you don't have to you know do much with it just shake 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 And then I already, uh, I already have the, the oven at 370 uh, degrees. So we're going to, we're not going to fry it. We're going to go ahead and bake it. Um, because I feel like um, when it comes to especially fish, I would way, way much rather bake it than fry it. Because I want it to keep its healthy uh, healthier um, vitamins and I don't want any more fat into it because fish already has fat right so we don't want it to add more fat to the fish so I already have my Uh, my tray my and I again as I have mentioned on the previous video the foil paper is so that we don't have to uh, clean up too much mess and then the the parchment paper is so that it doesn't stick and so we don't have to add a lot of uh, chemicals or anything uh, to the food is just more I guess more organic, more healthier in that sense. Um, so, as you can tell, just by shaking it a little bit, it already is fully covered. And we're just gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then, um, there really isn't like an exact measure on how much breadcrumbs to add to it. It's just making sure that there is a little bit left over after you you shake the fish into it. And then as they, obviously if you need any more then you can go ahead and add, add more as you go. Um, so yeah. Then do the same process again. super easy uh, if you have one of these trays use it uh, I got the the idea of using this particular little tray uh, from watching the help uh, and uh, I saw where um, she used a, a bag I was like well we don't have any uh, brown bags but we have you know these little trays that are, are pretty useful and that we can technically do the same exact process of like shaking um, you know she used uh, mini she used uh, chicken to shake into the the bag uh, and uh, just flour it and season it and all that kind of stuff and in this case we're using you know a little tray there's another piece right here just moving them a little bit and then oh and there's one more last piece that we that we have here and then just making sure that the bottom the bottom is at least somewhat covered so that we don't have to like um, like I said move the fish too much and there we go and just shake 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 Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> okay. So.
so all right so after this we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven for I want to say about 30 minutes and it's just so that uh, we can make sure that the fish is well done the tilapia fish it really doesn't take a long time to to bake it um i think the longest you actually do take is just by actually seasoning it and all that but it really doesn't take a lot to to bake it and it's a pretty quick process um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and put uh, uh remember to put the oven at 370 and we're gonna go ahead and put it in there for about 30 minutes and i'll be right back So uh, while we have the um, fish uh, baking, we're gonna go ahead and get started on a little bit of a side dish, just so that it's not just the fish parmesan. We have a little bit uh, something on the side uh, so we can make ourselves a little bit um, fuller and um, and it, it'll make the dish itself a bit of a, a better. And so to make sure, uh, also make sure that you get, um, put some seasoning on the water. I already have some water boiling here. So that means that um, the water is ready for the pasta. And we're gonna put, I'm gonna have, it's, it's gonna be a half cup. And then half cup. And like a fourth cup also. And that should be good for, um, there's three people in our family. So it's a fourth cup per person. Um, and then while we do that, sort of a little bit, so we get more flavor. And then we're gonna go ahead and put some uh, veggies in there as well again these were these are fresh um, veggies they're the yellow squash uh, the green squash and um, the other uh, what's it called zucchini there you go so all right and then we're just gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and let it, let it cook. With the garlic salt, you only put like a little bit of a sprinkle. It's not really much. Uh, it's mostly just because um, we want the pasta and the veggies to have flavor. Uh, but after they are made, most of the flavor is gonna come from the marinara sauce. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to go ahead and um, leave it to uh, cook and then once uh, the fish and the pasta are ready, uh, we're going to come back. Uh, for the moment, I think we're only going to leave the pasta uh, to cook. It usually takes about uh, 15 or 20 minutes, I believe. Uh, so uh, well, we'll come back in a few minutes. All right, so welcome back. And uh, at this point, it's already been about 30 minutes. The fish is already out. And the pasta and the veggies are also done. And so now we're gonna go ahead and start uh, with the plating. And first, we're gonna go ahead and get this deliciousness out. You can choose if you want. You can go ahead and put some cheese on there and then uh, put it in the oven back again for about five minutes and then um, make it cheesier and so that's more of a Parmesan. But for the, for the time, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it as is because um, it's, it's, just, it's just good. It's just really good that way. So, and then Look at that, how good does that look? And the marinara sauce that I'm uh, currently using is, it is homemade and with some marinara on the top there. 
look how good that looks it is so good it is so delicious it is really healthy like i said i mean it is baked fish but it's so good make sure and, uh, to like and subscribe and uh, so you guys can see more of these uh, delicious recipes uh, i really hope you guys enjoy this and we'll see you guys next time bye